Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 23. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about the concept of Flash Helper. In the last video, we had discussed that is how can we save a form data to any of the database table. Now in that video, we have used for the confirmation messages like for the success messages only we have written a echo here that is form has been saved or failed to save data. So instead of writing such type of messages, now we are going to use the standard rule to give any confirmation like for any of the success message or any of the error message. And that standard concept is called Flash Helper. It means after saving data, we are going to actually render a flash message to user. So the flash based concept we are going to use inside this video. Now this is my form method inside this. This method is accepting get request type for the first time load. But when we submit our data with the post request type, it will go inside this if block. It is saving data because we have created instance here. We have prepared form data and successfully here we have inserted into our database table. So using session helper is not a tough concept. It's very simple to use. So what I will do, go here, simply create a session instance. Now this is the simple syntax to create a session variable. Go here, remove this data. Let's say that inside this session, we have a method called set flash data. Inside this set flash data, we need to pass a key and a value. Keys like something error and success. By the help of these keys, actually we need to call inside view file to render that associated message. So as we know that inside this insert block, we have a success message. So let's create a key with a valid name called success here. And the message is something data has been saved successfully. Otherwise, if we go inside this else block, what I will do, we need to call again this session variable, again set flash data. And inside this, as we know that this is the else block for the error messages, so we need to create a different key like error and let's say that failed to save data. Now save this change and finally we need to redirect into the same route for this method. So what I will do, let's redirect. Here we are going to use called the to method inside this to method I will use let's say site URL and inside this site URL the method or the route we have called my underscore form copy that and pasting it here this is not underscore this is hyphen save these changes and before writing this code we need to actually return here so return redirect go to our myform.php and inside this view file what I will do, we need to collect our flash data message. So I will add a PHP tag here. Let's say that if session inside this we have a get method. If suppose we have any message inside this success key. So as we know that inside this success key we have saved the message after saving our data. So we need to use those keys what we have already assigned value if suppose we have saved like inside success one this is the key so this key is not valid because inside this key we don't have any value so change it to success back to my form.php and inside here simply let's say after getting the value inside this success key if we want to write any of the HTML code like any of the bootstrap library, we are freely, we can use here. Now inside this paragraph tag, we need to print our success message, the same piece of code we need to write inside this paragraph tag. 
So let's say here PHP and simply write echo here and we need to write our success message if in case we have like error key so we need to copy this same piece of code pasting it here this time if suppose we have any value inside this error key it means the value assigned inside this else block we need to check here that is if any message inside this error key so simply we need to paint here now if we save these changes go and reload this page let's pass some value here this is name this is email here we need to pass phone number if we click submit button now as we can see that data has been saved successfully and this message is not coming via h3 tag what we have written in the last video this is the concept of using flash helper the concept behind that simply we need to actually create a variable this is any of the user defined in our case we have used session in your case it will be something different now by the help of this variable it's an instance we have called a method called set flash data inside this we have a key and we have a value by the help of this key what we have created we have firstly inside this view file we have checked here like we have any message inside this success key if suppose we have value we will go inside this block and simply we are printing the message so right now here we are saving our data it will go inside this insert block it is going to assign this message inside this success key go inside this view file Checking that any message we have inside this success key, yes we have because already we have assigned, now simply it is printing. So this is the concept guys, how can we use a flash helper inside Codeigniter. This is very useful if suppose you want to give any edit confirmation, any submit confirmation or any delete confirmation. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.